I'm going to be using splines to create a topographic map. The spline command creates a smooth curve that passes through or near a set of fit points. By default, fit points coincide with the spline and control vertices define a control frame. Both methods allow you to adjust the shape and position of the spline. I have two different options when placing a spline. I can create a spline using fit points or control vertices. I have quick properties enabled on my status bar to help me identify and manage my drawing elements. Most of the existing splines in this drawing were created using the control vertices method. I select one of the splines. Notice that the CV frame is currently set to hide. I'm going to change that to show. I close the quick properties dialog and zoom into the selected spline. Now you see the control vertices used to designate the shape of the spline. These control vertices aren't plotted, but hiding them can make your drawing easier to read and you can turn on visibility, like I just did, to make it easy for you to modify your spline. To modify the spline, just select a control vertex and adjust its position. To hide the control vertices, just reselect the spline and switch the CV frame back to hide. Now when I zoom back in, you don't see the control vertices as they are hidden. I'm going to switch to the LT yellow layer on the layer drop-down list located on the ribbon. I'm going to be placing a spline. The spline tool is located on the extended panel area of the draw panel on the home ribbon. There are two spline tools available, one to create a spline using fit points and one to create a spline using the CV method. You can also just type SPL to start the spline command. I type SPL to start the spline command. On the command ribbon, I have three options, method, knots, or object. The current method is set to fit. I can right click to select method to change my method, or I can left click on the word method in the command prompt. I am now provided with two choices, fit or CV. I select fit. I can select fit from the right click method or press enter to accept as the default. I select some points, then right click and select close. I select the spline I just drew. The Quick Properties dialog displays that the spline uses the fit method and the CV frame is set to hide. I change the CV frame to show. So even though I created the spline using the fit method, I still have a CV frame I can use to modify the spline. Or I could select one of the grips available on the spline to adjust the spline shape. If I adjust the spline shape using a grip, the CV frame returns to being hidden. With the spline selected, I right click and select the spline menu. I select show CV frame and the frame is displayed again. I select edit vertices. I now have the option to add, delete, or move vertices. I select move. I left click to adjust the position of the vertex. I can advance to the next vertex by selecting next and then adjusting that vertex's new location. I can also use select point to select any point on the spline to adjust the spline shape. To exit this mode, I press exit, type X, or right click and select exit. I'm going to switch to the LT cyan layer using the layer drop-down list on the ribbon. Next, I'm going to draw a spline using the CV method. I select the spline CV tool from the ribbon. Notice as I draw, the CV frame is following my spline. To modify the spline, I need to select it. To add a control vertex, I right-click and select spline, 
Add Control Vertex. I then left click to place the new control point. There is an advantage to converting splines to polylines and we'll look at that in the next lesson.